Welcome to a new and inspiring episode of Activating Success. Today is a new day. Get excited about your life. Don't go away. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Thank you. And now, Activating Success with Love Idoko. This is Activating Success with Love Idoko. And today we're so honored to have the award-winning actress, United Nations ambassador, philanthropist and singer, Omotola Jalade Ekende. Oh, wow, you look really beautiful. Thank you. As and usual. you're competing with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Activating Success. I want to start by saying, are there shortcuts to success? Um, it's been proven that there are, but then you'll come back crashing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so don't take it. <laughs> so, um, like I said, there are, but it's not advisable. Um, the best way is to go through um, the ropes and understand exactly how to get there so that if you, by, you know, if you by adventure meet any kind of obstacle, at least then you can know how to build it right back. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, you recently celebrated your 20 years in entertainment. Mm -hmm. I guess it's about 22 years now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, there, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, how has it been, you know, what was your first movie? And then, how has it been being on top of your game all the time? Tell us about it. So, it has not been easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not been easy. Nothing good comes easy. You have to work very hard. Um, there are times where you question um, if you are still, um, should I say, relevant or necessary in that field, mm. whatever field you are in. It happens to everyone. There are times when um, things don't go exactly as planned, and there are times where you 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 face a lot of opposition, sometimes for no reason. Mm, <laughs> for no that's reason. true. So, um, but the underlining thing is you have to have passion for what you do. You have to love it enough to want to um, go through anything and come out of it, irrespective of whatever it is. And that cannot be money. Money cannot be a driving force or a substitute passion because. Um, there are times when you wouldn't even make money, um, and um, if that was your motivation, then you wouldn't do it anymore. Um, you would go into another trade or something. Um, so you have to have passion for what you do. You must feel like it's something that you want to wake up to think about. It's something that it has. It has to be so important that it's as important as giving you life, air. You know, you feel like that's the. Um, I remember one time, my one of my kids asked me a very funny question. She was like, "Oh, mom, um, so." When you were having all of us, because I had my kids back to back. So when you're having us back to back and all of that stuff, was there any time when you thought about leaving your career for us? I was like, oops, odd question. You're not supposed <laughs> to ask me that question, you know. It's like, no, 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 no. I said, are you sure you really want to hear the answer to that question? She was like, yes, I want to. I was like, well, darling, I was not going to leave my career for you. Because <laughs> you, you insist on, and that's the truth. I really can't. I just can't. You can't ask me to choose anything over my career. I can't, and you have to, and it's not just because I want to prove anything, it's because that is, that is, Your passion. That, is my, that is my life, that's mm. what gives me, that's one of the reasons why I wake up every day. It can't be just because of my husband, or because of my kids, or because of, you know, there has to be something that drives you, mm. and to so find that thing that drives you, and you'll be able to um, have longevity in it, because then every day you can, you oh, can go wow. to it. That is powerful, mm -hmm. find that thing that drives you, mm -hmm. wow, so powerful. Okay. You have been married for well over 20 years, mm -hmm. and you're doing very well. How do you know that? I know. <laughs> I see it all over the place. You know, and of course, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit close to you, so I know, <laughs> honey boy, honey boy, you know? <laughs> and that's what you call your husband. So mm -hmm. tell us about it. What is the secret? What has kept your marriage for over 20 years? Hmm. Without sounding cliche, I'll say God Almighty. Mm. That's the truth, and that's the truth. Um, my husband and I are very close to God, um, and we don't, 
I don't say that to impress anyone. It's just what it is. Um, I don't think anyone can really achieve any kind of relationship, being with your father and yourself, your mother, and people will test you. Even siblings test one another, and you know they fight, and father and daughter, or mother and child. So why do you think you know a marriage will be different or any different? You know, so um, as long as we're human beings, we will step on each other, one another's you know toes every now and then, or have differences, and that's not a big deal. The most important thing is, do you have um, a higher power that centers you? You know, um, I tell people I'm not, or even my husband, I say, I'm not in love with you because you are the most lovable person. I'm in love with you first and foremost because I fear God and because I trust him to continue to help me see the reason why we are, compa why we are together in the first place. And I'm there for a reason in his life and he's in my life for a reason. And we both need to understand that and find that in the person who created us. You know, so that's the most important thing. You need to first understand that on your own, you can't find it. True. Yeah, because you're very busy mm -hmm. and you're too distracted. Mm -hmm. But there's someone who knows and who was there before you were created who can just, you know. So why do you want to do all the hard work? You mm. can just do it. Let him oh, do it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Let wow. him show you. All right, so ha I haven't said that. Um, I'll say also it is because of the friendship that we have, the mutual um, respect and friendship. I think it's very important for couples to have a very good friendship. And I say to people that friendship is actually deeper than love. True, True friendship is mm. deeper than love. There are times where I think we're not really in love, you know, but because we respect each other and because we're, we're really friends, friends. We re you know, we, we, that keeps us going till whenever the love sparks in mm. again and, and you can tolerate, you know, each other till you start feeling the bushy mushy <laughs> ness all over again. Um, and then I'll say, you know, um, respect yourself. When you respect, after you've respected um, each other, respect yourself. Um, in the days, uh, this new days of social media and yes. uh, everybody trying to catch everybody's attention, I think we are getting to a point in this generation where we are losing ourselves and we are seeking approval. Without knowing it sometimes, we're seeking approval you wake up in the morning and before you pray you know your brain is telling you go check yes, your social media you posted yesterday mm. have they liked it have they commented you know so you are constantly feeding that thing that i just go off social media for some for, for some months sometimes mm -hmm. i don't care i don't even i don't i don't i don't go to blogs i don't know what, if anybody's writing anything about me on my own social media sometimes i go sometimes i don't go when i go i try to stay there you know i stay for hours and um, play with my fans and whatever and then when I leave I leave that's just me so it's not I try not to make it it's a conscious effort because it can be addictive that's true. you know so yeah. and those things kill relationships mm. because you, rea you realize that you are no more keeping a friendship with the physical people in your life and then you're caring more about the virtual people in your life and so you get to a point where when something is happening with the physical people in your life you don't even talk it out with them you don't try to sort it out anymore you now take it to your virtual people to help you sort it out. Mm. And sometimes you're not doing it to damage, but because that's not the life, that's not the life you know. Unfortunately, it gets to a point where you can't, you don't know where to draw the line anymore. Mm. You've blurred everything. So the sense of reasoning is gone because now these people that you don't know and who really are just there to use you as entertainment value now become the real relationship mm. you have. And so it damages the real the, the one that ought to have been the real one. So, you know, we have to be careful about these things. And, you know, it's very easy for these things to, to switch, yeah. you know, because you feed, whatever animal you feed will get stronger. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I think these are the things. So I, 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 those, I think that those are the ways I have been able to, by God's grace, uh, uh, keep my head above water, just uh, know what's important and uh, what's not. Oh, well, you have four kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are a wife, you are a mother, you have a reality TV show, you're an actress, you do a whole lot, you wear so many caps. How do you do it? Uh, so back to what I said earlier, knowing what is important and what is not. Mm. Um, as women, I think we naturally are blessed as multitaskers. I wouldn't trade being a woman for anything. <laughs> you know, it comes naturally to us. But then having said that, mm. um, you can't do everything at the same time. time yeah. You don't have to. So don't be too much in a hurry. 
space out yourself, rest, understand yourself, love yourself. Yeah. A lot of women don't love themselves, mm. you know, so, um, and it, it's a maternal thing, you know, it's natural. We, we are caregivers, so um, you get to a point where you're taking care of everyone and you forget to take care of yourself. Mm. Remember yourself, love yourself, pamper yourself, because you have to first fall in love with yourself, mm -hmm. enjoy yourself, and then so other people can enjoy you. Wow. you know and enjoy your space so you have to take time to to love yourself to spend time with yourself travel read do anything that makes you happy every day do something every day that makes you happy or that makes you cl get closer to your goals or anything that makes you excited or stuff like that have, when you've done that then you can take care of your kids you can take care of your family and and all of that you know so basically every day it is important for me to be happy you know and um, I also bring in what we learned in school. We all learned the scale of preference in school, you know. So bring that into your everyday life as well. Um, I am a very confident person by God's grace, and I don't think I'm scared to tell someone no. So if, I'm, if I know when I wake up and I do my scale of preference, and I know, okay, these are the things I ought to do, but what can I do? As much as I love to call myself superwoman, I can't do everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I can't do everything. So what can I realistically do? You know, and I, I list that out. And when I've, when I've listed that out, I try the best I can to stick to that. And then, so which ones are most, uh, most important to me, to my family, you know, or mm -hmm. to my work or whatever. And whatever I can't do, I'm not afraid to say no, I can't do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Don't go away, stay right there, we'll be right back. Hello friend, I'm Mike Murdoch. Keep watching. Activating success with my wonderful, wonderful friend, Love Idoko. This is Bishop Noel Jones, and I want you to continue watching Activate Success with Love Idoko. Welcome back. In case you just tuned in, this is Activating Success with Love Idoko. And today we're so honored to have the award winning actress, United Nations ambassador, philanthropist, and singer. Omotola Jalade Ekende. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> what is your most urgent and pressing message today for every young Nigerian watching you right now? Wow. Hmm. You said most pressing. I know you're no, trying to <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to take that back. I don't wanna I don't want that part of you to come out quickly. But you said most pressing, so I'm trying okay. to think of the most pressing. Um, I would like to say that um, in my I'm a speaker, you know, I, I do a lot of speaking mm. engagements and um, most of the forums I go to, I think for the Nigerian youth especially, um, the problem is always unemployment and um, all these problems that we have. And I think the most pressing thing I have to say right now is a lot of employers say Nigerian youth are unemployable. Um, it hurts me that I have to say this here, but it is a big problem. It's an epidemic, you know. It's a, it's, it's, it's a big problem that we have right now in this country. And the earlier we start to address it, the better. Um, a lot of young people, unfortunately, have gotten to the um, place where they want everything done quickly and I'm an employer my, myself and so I can relate to this problem um, a lot of us for example a lot of young people now write um, in Twitter language mm. um, it's absurd you know you have someone in, the, in an office or say for example come for an interview and they can't write in simple English anymore. They write, you know, um, yeah, maybe you want to write um, coming and they write C-O M-I-N or something. You know, some funny, funny thing. Yeah. Uh, you want to say go through and they write T-R-U, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It, you know, and they, for, they, they forget that this is not social media. This is work. Mm. Um, so this is something we need to watch out for. A lot of young people are carried away, like I said earlier on, by social media. If you are not doing any kind of business and you are not really um, promoting your brand, I'm not very sure what you're doing on social media. That's the truth. I know that this sounds very crazy, but um, if you, there has to be something you're promoting. That's what I believe. I'm not saying don't, don't be social, because that's what it is, social media. Mm. So it's not like don't be social, but use it as a motivation to 
to push something. You know, if even if you have not started a career yet, start to project your careers, um, your career or your career opportunities or your, you know, push something. What your mindset? You know, if you don't, if it's not your job, talk about your belief system. You know, something. You know, my point is they stand for something. I'm not saying be too serious, be playful and everything, but have a reason to be there. Because if you don't, chances are that you would you would be all around the whole place and mm. then it would, it would consume your life unnecessarily. So have some kind of, keep have a center, have something that brings you back to reality that you, know, that you aspire to share with other people. You know, that will keep you engaged amongst everything else because that world is, is big. Um, so a lot of employers complain about that, the fact that a lot of young people are more into social media and um, even at work sometimes, you know, so you're checking this, checking yeah, that blog, true. checking this. <laughs> so, um, so we need to watch out for that. You see a lot of young people will tell you they can't work for free. Um, maybe you're just getting out of school and then you get a job and you're like, maybe come intern and you're already asking them, how much are you going to pay me? You know, <laughs> you, you, you don't even have experience yet and stuff like that. So a lot of young people are putting money before experience. Mm. We need to watch out for this. It's a big problem. And then a lot of young people, a lot of Nigerians, not just young people, but now we're talking to young people, um, take for granted, you know, um, opportunities. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. So don't come with that. We have a culture now of begging. It, it's, and I had a controversy recently, oh, not so, so recent, but some time ago on, on, on the internet when I said, I said to someone, I don't, I don't appreciate people begging or I don't encourage it. Mm. And it's the truth, I don't. I believe that there is, there is no reason why anybody can't work. There is something you can do. There's something you can do. There is do. something you can do. Mm -hmm. There is some kind of value you can bring to humanity. Yes. I'm not saying that everybody has it. Everybody needs something. Don't look at me and think even I don't have needs. I do have needs. There's some needs I have that, you know, if me too, I could go and beg this, you know. <laughs> you know. So don't think that because you, you feel like you don't have, you know, up to me, then I don't, you know, you're the only reason, you're, you're the only one who has a reason to beg. At every level, we all have needs. But we're all struggling through it, you know, and all of that stuff. So I don't think, except it's very, very, very necessary, except it's, you know, a maybe almost a life and death situation and stuff, um, you know, try not to, mm. to, to beg and be a nuisance or, you know, and then it also does something to you. It reduces your own self-worth. Yes. You know, so except you really do need it's a desperate situation and stuff like that. And even when you do, do it with some kind of, um, you know, don't do it like you owe me, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. You know, and then show people proof why they should help you. You know, for example, a young lady wrote to me recently. She needed to pay for her, um, for her course, um, her project, you know, her project. She was in the final year. She needed to pay for her project. It was very intelligently done. She sent me that plea that, look, I need money for my project. She sent me her, um, you know how you uh, go to people's portal? You know, she sent me her portal. She sent me her password hmm. and said, please, you can, check, you can log into my portal yourself sure. and you will see yeah. it there. I mean, very intelligent. And I did. It was sent to me from my office and I did myself. I went to her portal, I saw it. And, you know, by God's grace, we were able to help her out. You know, so you can tell that this person, you know, so don't just come and tell me, uh, please, you have 10,000 naira you're not using. What do you mean by that? <laughs> okay, you're not using. Okay, you're using 10,000 naira I'm not using. How will I have 10,000 naira I'm not using? You know, so please, let's, let's not, you know, make begging look fancy and make it look like it's fun, mm. you know, and all of that stuff. So this generation needs to watch out for that. I think these are the things that we need to watch out for, mm. just our behavioral, you know, because we, we are angry with the other generations. We are saying these people have let us down. Let us not be the generation that lets ourselves down. Mm. Wow, that is so inspiring. I remember what my mentor, Dr. Mike Mudok, said. He said, begging is exhausting. When you Very. beg, you know, it drains you. So instead of spending your time and your energy begging, Being creative. Mm -hmm. you know, just just be creative. Mm -hmm. Just be creative. There's so many things you can do to maximize your potential. So if you're watching us right now, get up, start thinking, do have something. a plan, do something positive with your life. Okay. <laughs> If you have an opportunity to live your life all over again, is there something you would want to do differently? No. <laughs> I know, you're fulfilled. <laughs> I am, no, I am, I am blessed. I, I, mm. I don't use the word fulfilled. I yes. say I'm blessed. Mm. I'm very thankful. God has been very good to me. He's still very good to me. There's so much I still want to achieve. And I know he's there and he's um, leading me on. 
But no, nothing. I, I would not change a thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Somebody is watching you right now who is frustrated, who is confused about life, who is discouraged and needs a push to get to the next level. What word of encouragement do you have for such a person? I want to tell you that um, there's so many people who today are successful that were worse than you, period. Worse than you. I could sit down here and tell you my own story, where I started from, um, but then I'm sure we don't have all, all day. You can tell um, us, summary. Yeah, I just, you know, I mean, it's not news. I think a lot of people know that I lost my father when I was 12. Um, before I lost my father, we were at least upper, I won't say, you know. The richest, but we were doing very well. And so losing my father, and um, I was an only child for a very long time, so I was pretty much that is girl. Um, losing my father, and um, life changed drastically. I had two younger brothers, my immediate younger brother, I'm older than with seven years, so you can imagine when I was 12 and how old he was, um, and then I had another one. You know, so life changed very drastically. We went from having well enough to pretty much, we don't know if we're going to be shared, you know, into different homes and stuff like that. So uh, we didn't know what, if we we're going to leave the schools we were going to because we didn't know if anybody was going to be paying our school fees. The lowest part of my life, and one of the reasons why I hate begging so much, is because we got to a point where my mother and I had to go beg in Yibo for food, um, money, you know, and all of that stuff. And we sat down in this man's house from morning till night when he got back. And he got back, rolled his car, uh, wound down, looked at us and said, oh, you know, because he's a neighbor, he knows my mom, obviously, oh, Jaladi, um, how are you? No problem. And my mom got up in her usual way, started crying and all of that stuff dragged me along as well, you know, please, we have all these problems, da, 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 and he was like, oh, sorry about that, and everything, okay, um, please wait, don't worry, I would, you know, maybe I think he said I would do something or whatever, so we waited, and he got into his wonderful match, and they closed the gate, and that was it, <laughs> that was it, so imagine you standing there, and standing there, and standing there, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting, until it dawns on you, that nobody's coming out, and you have to walk away. I think that's one of the points in my life where I decided, no, no way, no way, no way will this ever happen to me or anybody that I love ever again. It's, that's why I said earlier that it does more to you, you know, your self-worth, your self-esteem. And um, so I want to say to you that, you know, there is nothing you're going through right now that would last if you will just get up. There is a gift in every human being. When people used to tell me that thing in those days, I used to think, oh, really, everybody has a gift. Relax. But that's the truth. Everybody has something special. There is something in you. Find it. What was it? What's, it? What's that thing that gets you excited? Find that thing. No matter how irrelevant you think it is. It might be plumbing. It might, be, um, it might even be cleaning shoes. You can make something out of anything as long as you're passionate. What, what separates one professional? from another person is passion. Simple as that. Passion. As long as you love that thing, get up and start to do it. Do it joyfully. Do it happily and you will be rewarded. And someday you will look back at your story and you will be amazed how far God has brought you. All I can say to you right now is, if you're listening to my voice, get up and do it. Start now. Start now. Wow, this is so inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank I have you. been so inspired today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shaka Pia. My name is Desmond Elliott. You're looking for a world-class venue? For your conferences, weddings, seminars, dinners and weddings? In Makodi, Benue State, you finally found one. The Dream Center. That's your perfect choice. Everything events. Number 5, Kashimi Brian Road, beside Immigration Office, Old GRA, McCordy, Bay State. The Dream Center, everything event. See you there. This is Inspire Us, powered by FCMB. If you do not quit, you will win. The key to winning is to keep moving. If you keep moving, no matter what you face, it doesn't matter what the obstacles are, if you keep on moving, you will eventually arrive at the place you plan to get to. The key 
do not quit keep loving keep moving keep growing keep experiencing life and you will end up a great success thank you this is inspire us powered by fcmb wow that was so inspiring get up right now and do something positive with your life it is possible to be whoever you want to be it starts with a decision it starts with a made-up mind join us same station same time next week thank you